scholars clean toilets. I am Andrus Kulikowskas. This is Math for Wisdom. Scholar Samuel Hutchins teaches us how we clean our toilets at the Let Me Think Scholarship Workshop in Oneonta, New York. Okay, so uh, the reason we're making this video for Master Wisdom is because um, uh, it's important to impart life skills such as cleaning a toilet, how to leave things presentable for the next person, and um, generally cleanliness is godliness. Today I will be explaining how to clean a toilet. Um, there are three things to consider. If you're not comfortable with germs, there's gloves. We have disinfectant, which is a small portion of rubbing alcohol, the rest is water. And then, this is kind of optional, you could use a sponge or you could use disinfecting wipes, but we have something to wipe down. So the first step, you want to come follow me over here, we want to take everything off of the toilet. So anything that is... Yeah, go ahead. So anything that might be on the toilet, you take it off of there. Um, then we're going to take our disinfectant and we're just going to oh, get it going. We're just going to spray the whole outside of the toilet with the lid, everything all over. Go around the seat, under the seat, around the rim. Around. Okay. Next step, you take your toilet scrubber. This one's pretty clean, but if there was any particles in here, you just kind of knock them loose. Shake it off in the water. Okay. Next step, and again, you could use a sponge or you could use wipes whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you have available, really. And we just start wiping down the outside. All the movements, all the porcelain, all the particles. Probably need a couple wipes for this. The sponge would probably be better in that regard, but Working with what we have. Okay. Make sure to get nice and deep in these little crevices here. That's where stuff likes to get stuck. Sometimes you'll get stuff that's stuck in there. And a little trick you can do is just kind of spray it and it'll float its way out. But this one looks pretty clean, there's nothing really in there, so I'm just gonna wipe it down. Okay, now we get some more wipes. Now, somewhat labor-intensive part is just getting the uh, this whole outside area down here. All these little facets down here tend to collect dust, hair particles, whatever it would have you. So just kind of try to get in here and get all that out of there. Sometimes 
is uh, it's a little tight to reach. Usually one side of the toilet is a little easier to reach than the other and the hard to reach side usually builds up a lot more stuff because people don't like to reach so something to be aware of. Definitely more dust on this side. capture all these little hairs and particles and wrap them up in your sponge or your napkin or paper towel or whatever you have. Just kind of get it all nice and sparkling clean. And we just kind of do another look over. Oh, make sure we got everything. And then, you know, if you had paper towels, you would throw it in there and give it a push. This has been Cleaning with Samuel. Math for Wisdom. We're almost done. We put away the cleaning supplies. We stock toilet paper and extra toilet paper. I've heard it say that cleanliness is next to godliness, but I say that cleanliness is manliness. We throw away the tissues and any trash, and that shows that we're absolutely done, or almost done. Thank you for joining us, Math for Wisdom, how to clean a toilet and leave it presentable. Last little finishing detail when you're done, restock the toilet paper stand and then the classic fold. So you want to pull it up one square, bring it across, give it a nice crease, and then you fold it the other way. A consideration to keep in mind is that you want the open end to face towards the wall so that way when you come in the bathroom you get this nice clean edge and it looks presentable for the next person thank you for tuning in we'll see you next time on math for wisdom signing out <laughs>